On one hand, a closeted gay man in an intolerant era. And on the other, a ninth round draft pick for the 1965 Washington Redskins. Worst kept secret in the gay community and the best kept secret in the straight community. The architect of victory is football's ultimate weapon, quarterback Sonny Jurgensen. Sonny Jurgensen has survived in pro sports' toughest league, a league where a quarterback's mind must be as quick as his arm, and where cascading armadas of beef are bent on his destruction. From 1965 to 1977, Jerry Smith was a tight end for the Washington Redskins. He was one of the best in his era, making two Pro Bowls. He played in a Super Bowl, and when he retired, Smith had more touchdown receptions than any other tight end in NFL history. This guy was a tremendous football player. He would go down and catch a ball because he, he wouldn't reach down and catch it. He'd go down and slide and catch a ball. When you needed a play to be made, you knew that you could throw the ball to him in some way or somehow he was going to catch it. Then. We'd play Dallas and we'd either win 31-30 or lose 31-30. From 1966 to 1970, Jerry Smith caught more passes for more yards than any tight end in football. By 1974, no active American athlete had publicly revealed his or her homosexuality. From day one, Jerry wanted to play ball. I mean, this man loved football. He was living his dream. And if anyone had known he'd be gay, they would snatch that dream from him forever. A passer needs good receivers. And Jerry Smith was a touchdown machine. In three of the last four years, he's been the leading tight end receiver in the NFL. He thought he had to run the perfect pattern every time. Because, you know, he was not very big as a tight end. here in the second quarter. Jurgensen for Jerry Smith. Jurgensen is blessed with the receiving core unmatched in pro football. Falcon goal line. Jurgensen to Jerry Smith all by himself on the 10. He's in there for a touchdown. Sonny Jurgensen once again to the air. His target, Jerry Smith. Good move here by Smith. Jerry Smith. That's Warren Livingston. Along with Edwards making the tackle. Looking for Jerry Smith. There he is, for a touchdown. Clear down and long for Jurgens. Going cross field for Jerry Smith. Makes the grab in Eagle territory at the 47-yard line. The Redskins clawed to within six points at 27-21 on Jurgensen's second touchdown to Jerry Smith. 
then passed to tight end Jerry Smith to ice the victory in the home opener. Washington had gone 76 yards in 10 plays and had ballooned the score to 33 to 17. He was real thin and it looked like he couldn't even play uh, soccer. We had no idea the, the uh, talent that it was in his body. I think he was a junior in high school and his coach pretty much said to him, hey Smith, I don't know what, what you're doing, why you're trying, you're never, gonna, you're never gonna make it anywhere. And he said at that point in time, he was gonna prove to that coach and to everybody that he could do it. And it didn't take the easy way. I mean, he went to a small little junior college and then he got picked up by Arizona State. At speed, he had great hands, so Frank, me and Frank, Cush that is, said, hey, he's tight in, so to me, he's the first ace back. But the Redskins' double clutch combination is Jurgensen to Jerry Smith. One head coach put it this way, there are a lot of tight ends better than Jerry Smith, he said. But I'm not so sure that any of them could beat him out. Though only a third year pro, Jerry Smith has developed into one of the NFL's top tight ends. In 1967, Smith's 67 catches were the second most in the NFL. With it third and six, Jurgensen and Jerry Smith combined to make the crucial play in this Washington march. Sonny connected with Smith for a score, and the Redskins had an 11-point cushion. When Sonny did target his receivers, Atlanta limited the gains viciously. But it was Washington who scored first on a pass from Sonny Jurgensen to tight end Jerry Smith. Smith was covered by strong safety Nate Ramsey, number 24. And a perfect spiral found Smith on the six-yard line. Again, Jurgensen needed a score for insurance. And inspired by the man who seems to inspire everyone beyond their own ability. Look at his numbers. There aren't many tight ends that have his numbers. I, mean, I think we had 60 touchdowns. We were playing at 10 and 12 games. He should be in the Hall of Fame. His tight end record of 60 career touchdowns lasted 27 years until it was finally broken by Shannon Sharp. regain the lead as Jerry Smith teams up with Jurgensen on a four-yard scoring strike. A combination of airtight protection, a perfect throw, and a diving catch have given Washington the lead at 87, Jerry Smith, who thrives on getting hit. Then a brilliant fake by Sonny Jurgensen, and a dash for the score, and the skins are rolling. Situations is thrown to Smith. 
Jerry Smith stretched four Jurgensen ropes for 65 yards and won. But with 26 seconds left, Jurgensen tied the score with a pass to Jerry Smith. The Jurgensen to Smith combination struck for their third touchdown and Washington trailed by six again, 34-28. The Redskins came charging back on the accurate arm of Sonny Jurgensen, who completed 26 of his 32 passes for 300 yards and two touchdowns. A Sonny Jurgensen to Jerry Smith TD gave Washington a 7-0 lead at the end of the first quarter. Jurgensen managed to pass reasonably well when afforded sufficient protection and threw for two touchdowns, one to Jerry Smith, Jerry Smith made a nice grab of a high Jergensen pass for an eight-yard game. Then from the 25, Sonny dropped back under good protection and fired for Smith again. And number 87 made a great catch near the flag for a touchdown. Despite some vociferous counsel for the defense, a repeat will show that Smith did hold the ball long enough to have possession. A judgment decision by the official. The quarter ended with the Redskins now ahead, 27 to 19. That's what I remember about him, his commitment to the game and to his teammates. We were fortunate to have him uh, as a Redskin. Only the clock denied Sonny on this day as his second touchdown, a wind whistler to Jerry Smith, made the score respectable at 28-17. Tough as nails great hands, just so dependable. He should be in the Hall of Fame.